Cowboys 1H by SportsDFW.com at SportsDFW January 28th. Here's everything you need to know to stay up to date with all things Dallas Cowboys. Today's top stories Mark Lomolio, AP NFC running back Ezekiel Elliott, 22 for the Dallas Cowboys, gets away from AFC linebacker TJ. Watt, 90, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, during the second half of the NFL Pro Bowl football game Sunday, January 27, 2019, in Orlando, Florida. AP Photo, Mark Lomolio, Pro Bowl National Reaction, Cowboys coaches Jason Garrett, Kellen Moore draw criticism as NFC's offense struggles in loss with Scott Linehan's firing earlier in the month, the Cowboys quarterbacks coach Kellen Moore from last season was slated to call plays for the NFC during the Pro Bowl under head coach Jason Garrett, a potential preview of the Cowboys coaching staff next season. Film Room, seven potential NFL draft fits for the Cowboys from the Senior Bowl, including two players who made a strong case for themselves. A Senior Bowl week is interesting because it's a time when practices provide more value than the game itself. In a strange week, it was Cole Beasley who brought all of the Cowboys' problems into focus. Only the Cowboys can produce such a strange week when the team doesn't even have a game. Demarcus Lawrence on his contract situation, your move Dallas Cowboys keeping in line with his own narrative regarding a contract extension in Dallas, defensive end Demarcus Lawrence sent a tweet on Friday in response to a video package of his own highlights from the Cowboys team account. Check out the full list of 20 former Texas high school football players in the 2019 Super Bowl looking for a team or players to root for because the Cowboys are out of the playoffs. Photo of the day Mark Brown, Getty Images Orlando, Florida. January 27th, LR, Amari Cooper. Photo by Mark Brown, Getty Images, 2019 opponents that's all for today. Check out sportsdatyfw.com for the latest sports news and analysis. Do you have feedback? Send your thoughts, questions, praise and corrections to sportsfeedback at dallasnews.com.